At the beginning of the movie, we observe the protagonist on a jock. Johnny notices his acquaintance, introduces himself as Massimo, and spends unforgettable nights with her. In the evening, the hero enters a crowded establishment and gets acquainted with another girl. This time, the man calls himself Francesco. With yet another woman working as a conductor, he becomes Peter. At dinner, his friends laugh at Johnny, thinking that he has changed too many names and professions in one week. The hero smiles and jokes that the wives of some of them wouldn't mind spending the night with diplomat Peter either. Dante eats lunch at a table with Johnny and wonders if his friend isn't tired of pretending to be someone else all the time. The hero waves off the idea of winning a woman by being himself. Johnny receives a phone call, and Dante wonders if it's from mother and if they've made up. The hero distantly informs him that the woman has passed away. Johnny is late for the funeral, and at first even gets caught up in another procession. His brother Ruggieri looks on judgmentally and is upset when the hero signs that he will not give the eulogy. The man asks Johnny to take his things from his mother's apartment. Arriving at the place, the hero wanders around the room looking at things. Johnny sits in his mother's chair and looks at photos, some of which the woman has cut out of his father. The hero also turns on a song and dances lightly to it. Alessia, a girl who moves into the neighboring apartment, finds him in such a state. Seeing Johnny in the chair, she mistakes him for a person with disabilities and says that she has already taken care of such people and is now looking for a job. The hero finds Alessia quite attractive and plans to get her into bed by pretending to be a man who has difficulty walking. Johnny is told about this plan by Dante. At work, the hero is trying to come up with a business plan to better sell sneakers. A girl named Julia suggests creating an advertising campaign with Paralympic champions to attract the attention of young people. However, Johnny is angry, believing that his shoes should wear out so that people buy new ones, and he is not going to involve people with disabilities in advertising. The idea is so disliked by the hero that he drives Julia away. After that, Johnny puts on his old clothes and goes to his mother's apartment. The hero wants to see Alessia again and, in order to ring her doorbell, he has to get up from his chair, breaking his legend. The girl gladly agrees to have coffee with Johnny at his house. The hero tries to get to the sugar and gets up from the chair again. Julia notices this, well thinks that Johnny just overestimated his abilities. After that, the hero often looks at the figure of the girl, but she smiles and does not consider it something bad. Johnny does not want to appear unemployed and infirm, so he tells her that, despite his condition, he owns several companies in Italy. Before leaving, Alessia invites the hero to spend a weekend with her and her friends. On the street, Johnny moves around as usual, but, hearing the girl's voice, gets back into the stroller. Alessia gives him the address and asks him not to forget about their meeting. Johnny's wheelchair gets stuck in a sewer grate, but the hero pretends that he is just basking in the sun. The hero reaches a certain place by car, and most of the way is overcome by a wheelchair, and in the end is very tired. Just before the house Johnny is exhausted and complains that someone lives in the country. Alessia joyfully welcomes the hero and brings him into the house. Soon she is distracted by the arrival of Aunt Chiara. Johnny is struck by the beauty of the girl, but then realizes that she also moves around in a wheelchair. By the looks of Alessia and her grandmother, the hero finally realizes what he was invited for. Chiara looks at Johnny very carefully and smiles at him. The grandmother tells the hero that he was set up. He counted on one girl, but got another. Chiara says that she tries to live a full life, play tennis, go shopping. In addition, the girl is professionally engaged in music. Later, Johnny discusses with friends what happened. They suggest still paying attention to Chiara, since she is quite pretty. Despite Dante's pleas not to hurt the girl in vain, Johnny makes a bet that he will win her heart. Soon Alessia is confronted by Ruggieri. The man is surprised to learn that his brother began to move on a wheelchair and also allegedly engaged in charity work. The girl worries that she has offended Johnny by introducing him to Chiara. Ruggieri tries to talk to his brother, but he is too immersed in his lies and does not intend to give up. Johnny asks Chiara out on a date, leaving her a message. The hero comes to work and suddenly receives information from the secretary that a girl in a wheelchair has come to see him. Johnny, not having his own on hand, sits down at his desk. 
Kiara thinks that the hero is ashamed to be in a wheelchair in front of clients and asks him to learn to treat it differently. The girl invites Johnny to her competitions and suggests something to drink afterwards. The hero, in order to impress the girl, remembers Julia's offer and tells her that he intends to use people with disabilities in the advertising of sneakers. When she leaves, Johnny asks his secretary to get him a wheelchair for the evening. The woman realizes what it is needed for and aloud condemns the hero. At the competition, Johnny admires Kiara's resilience and play. The hero invites the girl for a drink, however, he has to share her with her friends. Johnny is shocked that people with disabilities play different sports and try to live like everyone else. At night, the hero even has a nightmare because of this. The next day, the secretary returns Kiara the wheelchair on which Johnny accidentally left and sincerely admires her. The woman reprimands Johnny, believing that with his lies he can cause unbearable pain. The hero borrows a stroller from a man and arrives at Kiara's concert. Despite his bias towards classical music, Johnny likes the concert very much. The hero sees Kiara and together they go to a restaurant. In the institution Johnny gets into an awkward situation several times because of his stroller. The hero flirts with Kiara and admires her. The girl in response remarks that Johnny is very fickle. He changes strollers every day. After dinner Kiara takes off her heels and says that she likes to be barefoot and imagine that she is dancing. The girl is embarrassed but still agrees to invite Johnny to her room. Before entering, the hero kisses Kiara and everything goes perfectly. However, as soon as Johnny begins to move to more active actions, the girl clamps down and says that she has to get up early. The next day, the hero chats with Dante about sensitivity in people with disabilities. The man replies that in women it depends on the degree of spinal cord damage. Johnny invites Kiara to dinner, after which he immediately has fun with another girl. Alessia asks Kiara if she is glad that she met the hero. The girl replies that with Johnny she began to feel complete and realized that she was looked at as a woman. At dinner Kiara tells him that she has been in an accident. Her violin was not damaged at all. The other driver only broke his collarbone, but she lost her legs. Johnny arranges a surprise for the girl. Their table is submerged underwater. Kiara kisses the hero, and together they get to know each other and enjoy it. When after everything the girl falls asleep, Johnny takes a picture of her to prove his success to his friends. However, the hero feels an incomprehensible longing. During the run, Johnny calls the girl and comes to visit her. The hero warns that he has something to say, but when Kiara asks about it, he keeps silent and changes the subject. The girl tells that most of all, she does not like those who lie to close people. Soon Johnny goes to her place for dinner, along with his secretary and Dante. They demand that the hero finally tells Kiara the truth, otherwise they will do it. At dinner, however, Johnny does not do so. Alessia is visited by Ruggieri, who finally tells the truth. The angry girl slaps Johnny and gives him two days to tell Kiara everything. The hero is very nervous and goes to his father for advice. Johnny is afraid that if he tells now, he will lose Kiara. The hero calls her and invites her to go on a small trip with him. Alessia tries in every way to convince Kiara that Johnny is not suitable for her. Then the girl admits that she has already guessed that the hero can walk, but she really wants to feel loved, even if it is a lie. During the trip, Johnny decides to visit the temple. The priest invites him inside and asks him not to get up, pretending that a great miracle has happened to him, otherwise sooner or later the deception will be revealed and people will stop believing in the sanctity of this place. The man says he guessed everything from Johnny's shoes. The hero walks back to Kiara in the stroller. Johnny watches the girl sadly about to go to the road, where a truck is speeding down the road. The hero gets up from his chair and rescues Kiara. The girl cries and returns to the bus. Dante asks not to go with them. Johnny is left alone and realizes that he has just lost a person he loved very much. Kiara cries and tries to come to her senses. Johnny catches a passing car and immersed in heavy reflections, returns home. Friends condemn the hero for the situation with Kiara as well as for being with the wife of one of them. Johnny gives his secretary a karaoke since he saw how she once sang at dinner with Kiara. But the woman does not take the gift and informs him that she is quitting. 
At a meeting, Johnny gives the floor to Julia and is about to introduce an advertisement with the Paralympic champions. The hero comes to Chiara's grandmother and asks where he can find her. Johnny cannot eat or sleep. Life has lost its former colors for him. The woman agrees to help and names the place where Chiara will be performing tonight. Johnny intercepts the bus, but the girl says that she does not need anyone, and especially a man like him. The hero leaves and begins grueling jogs to deal with the pain. When Johnny falls from fatigue, Chiara unexpectedly rides up to him and helps him get up. The girl offers the hero to sit on her lap, and together they drive to the end of the route. Soon Johnny's 50th birthday comes. Instead of speeches and congratulations, everyone begins to dance. Johnny takes Chiara in his arms and spins around with her, enjoying the happiness he has finally found. This is the end of the movie. Thank you all for watching this video to the end. Give this video a like. Write in the comments what you think about this movie and see you in new videos.